Hey guys, Jared Krause, and I want to talk about a massive misconception about dropshipping. Everybody's perceiving that it's really super easy because you don't need your own product and you can go away and set it up and they do all this sort of stuff for you. Now, I have gone away and built my own dropshipping businesses and failed. Now, I own my own dropshipping businesses, I own multiple dropshipping businesses now, I make money each month from these businesses, and I want to talk to you about this misconception that dropshipping is super easy. And specifically in this video, I want to talk to you about what dropshipping actually is and why buy a dropshipping business instead of build one. For the best advice on how to go away and buy online businesses that are past that 90% failure rate that all startups face and they have a proven track record that they're making money month over month, go away and hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell notification so you can be updated when I upload new videos about this every single week. So originally, when I decided to start making money online, I started blogging and I started learning about content sites and then started learning about dropshipping websites and I tried to start my own dropshipping business. I remember one time I came home from an international trip that I was overweight for like months and months and months overseas, came home back to my regular job as a plumber and I got on the phone and started calling all of these dropshippers in Australia and nobody knew what dropshipping actually was and I had to explain to them what they could do with their business which is called dropshipping that could allow me to help them make more money. Now, this day and age, it's changed a lot. Only in just a few years, it's changed real rapidly where everybody knows what dropshipping really is, especially in Australia now as well. And I wanna to talk to you, if you guys don't know what dropshipping is, how it actually works, and then why to buy a business, a dropshipping business that is, instead of build one. So the first thing, what dropshipping actually is, is you can go away and wanna sell products online. The thing is, if you don't have your own product, you can sell somebody else's products. So you can go away and grab their products, their images, and post them up on a website for sale like Shopify or WordPress or wherever it is you want to sell it on your website. You can post them up with the product images, the descriptions, and then people can go away and pay for them and check out and buy those products. Now, since you don't have the products at home and you can't distribute them yourself, what you can do is you can grab that order and forward it or somehow ensure that that supplier who owns that product gets notified and they can send that product out to the client for you. Now, when they do this, the dropshipper, who's the person who distributes the products to your customers for you, they'll charge you wholesale price, wholesale price for your actual product. And you go away and before you even, you know, buy that product from the supplier, you charge the customer retail price, so you get the profit margin. Now, while this is very simple and easy to understand, if you don't understand that, please comment below what your questions are about dropshipping. I'm happy to answer any questions about how to start your own dropshipping business, how to buy one, and how to build it. So answer your questions below, but it's very, very simple, and in theory it's simple, but the reality is it takes a lot of time to understand what products actually want to be bought online. Because you can't just go away and sell any product and expect to make millions of dollars. The reason being is because there needs to be a market there for it. Or you don't want to come up against too much competition. And this is something that I learned when I first started, is I started my first dropshipping business and I was trying to sell travel gear and travel products and backpacks and sleeping bags and all these types of different stuff. And I realized after like three months, I was competing with everybody like Kathmandu, you know, Amazon, all these big hiking brands and camping names. And so I had to stop because I realized I was competing with people with massive ad budgets and, you know, targeting people on Facebook and Instagram when I didn't have as much money as them. So I quit that and I decided, all right, this isn't gonna work. I was going around in circles. And that's why I think it's so much smarter to not build your own dropshipping business. Instead, if you wanna work smarter and not harder, why don't you leverage off somebody else's hard work who's already built this dropshipping business, you know there's a market there because it's selling the products and this business is making profit every single month. Why don't you come in and purchase that business? And when you purchase that business, negotiate some training with the seller so they can train you how to run the business. In my opinion, it's so much better to be leveraging off somebody else's hard work and growing that business much more so you can scale that knowing it's actually gonna work. So again, guys, buying versus building is a smarter option. Why? Because it already is proven and working like most startups, 90% of startups, they actually fail. 
So guys, if you do have questions about dropshipping in particular, how to grow your dropshipping business or how to buy a dropshipping business, comment your questions below. And if you guys want to learn more about what I do, I actually have a community. If you go to my website, buyingonlinebusiness.com forward slash community, you can check that out or check out my podcast. There's lots more value in there as well. So hope you guys got a lot of value from this video and I'll speak to you next time.